I find your lack of belief troubling. Hi guys, and welcome to the Doomfist analysis video, where you send me your gameplay and I coach you on everything you did good, bad, and tell you what you could benefit from and how you can improve. If you would like to be featured in these videos, then all you have to do is post your video to YouTube, then send me an email with the link to the video at LamborghiniMercy at gmail.com. Don't forget to title your email Doomfist Analysis along with your rank and username, and that is all you have to do. All I ask is that you do not send hate messages to the people sending in their videos for the review. This is to help improve people and motivate them to become better Doomfist mains in the future. Now, enough being said, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the series where you send me your gameplay and I analyze you on how good and bad you did, uh, blah blah blah. We all heard that. We all heard that like at the beginning of the video. But today we're having Supertooth who's going to be sending me his gameplay from a few months ago that I didn't get to go because you got to blah blah blah. Let's let everybody know before we start, we're at 2600 SR and this man already has the gold fist because I am so I am already starting to like this. So just one more thing before we start, if the quality is bad, that is not my bad and that is not my fault because I can only I can only re review the review um ah, I can't speak today I, I can only review the video that you send me and the quality of uh, that is sent to me as well so if it's if the if quality is bad don't blame me I'm sorry there's not much I can do about it so let's just get straight into it man wait starting on Legion Tower I love it. I love it man I love the stage you know the stage is not too CP it's a great stage man you look confused, man. You swear me, man. All right, all right. I right, trace behind you, man. Oh, that was way right there. Ah, oh, I can't go too deep in there, man. Yeah, that's a back up, back up. Had to reform right there. I'll tell you what I would have done real quick. I'll tell you what I would have done right here. All right. So what I would have mostly done right here. Is I would have flanked. I mean, usually on this stage. Usually we never, whenever you're on this stage, I would have flanked to the left over here, or I went went to the right over here. I don't know if you had a tracer or not, but I went went to the flank on one of these two sides, and they had a soldier 76, so it would have been monumental for y'all to get the pick off of the soldier immediately. So when you're ever on this stage, you don't always have to go with your team. You, I don't usually go with my team on this stage. I usually go from the outside right here, and then I'll. I'll try to do a flank route and try to take out someone from behind when the entire team is starting to engage. That's just me. That's just me, though. Alright, punch, punch to Winston. Ah, he's gonna get away. That's okay, that's okay. He did punish him with the punch, though. Ah, right there. Ah, he got away, man. Right there, I, instead of trying to charge the punch for, to go hit the monkey right there, uh, screw, screw right here. Instead of trying to charge the punch to hit the monkey right here, because you see the monkey's right there. I would have punched it immediately, just to make sure that he did not get away right there. But that's okay. That's okay. Your team, yeah, your team is um, regrouping, and he didn't. Wait, what? Why wasn't he just go to the? Oh, how unfortunate! You didn't get away, man. Oh, but you're getting rid of so that's okay. Winston, Winston. Nice, nice. Y'all are getting dies hard, man. I'm seeing right, I mean, what I'm seeing you're probably right now is what your I mean, what's your main priority is that what you need to focus. When they have a Winston or another team, you should al almost always wait for him to be jumped again. If he jumps in, you can punish him immediately with your rocket punch. Otherwise, he's just gonna be eating your team alive with his um uh, with the mercy with because the mercy was him with him most of the time but otherwise he's just gonna be eating your team alive what you want to do is when the winston jumps in you want to combo him immediately with your uh with your either rocket punch and then when he's against the wall uppercut him don't you can try to go for the slam but i wouldn't use up all of your ability just to kill the winston just try the um rocket punch hit him into a wall um walk up to him with all your um walk up to him with while shooting and then use your uppercut and shoot shoot maybe most of the time it will kill him if you if you land most of the headshots but your team will be focusing him as well so that's the thing to do against Winston man wait hold the hell I didn't see you get away from that I wouldn't have gone in like that yep 
Uh, so I think that Soja just wasted his ult. Nice. Yeah, Soja just wasted his ult for no reason. The fight was over. Right, right here, I am when you're whenever you're and whenever you're um waiting for the next team fight to start. Let me play it so yeah, I can see real quick. Whenever you're waiting for the next team fight to start, you always want to go over here to the top left over here so you have some high ground for when their team comes in. If you, if you have some high ground for when their team comes in, you have an advantage of going back into the fight. Tracer? Oh, they all went behind. Also, also, just and just quick, quick, a hey, quick group. One, one say one thing real quick since you have your ultimate the soldier 76 should always be your main target whenever they have a soldier on the other team he should be your main focus say i, I say that because what they have what they're running right now they're running amora with um i don't know what their second support was, was i don't know what, and they're running amora with a mercy it's, the reason i say you're going after the soldier because out of the Mora and the Mercy, the Mercy can fly away to their team and the Mora can just fade away when he, you try to go and attack him. So what you want to do is go after whatever's the next easiest to kill. If, if they have a Soldier 76, he should always, always be the next one you should go after. So because he's the easiest one to, out of all the DPS for you to kill. So go after the Soldier 76. He will switch, trust me, he will switch uh, when he gets tired of you killing him over and over. Oh, you could have saved the right heart by punching immediately. Alright, it's gonna get away. It's alright. Oh no. Are you going back into the fight? Uh, alright, oh shoot. Just back up. You should be backing over here. Nice. Oh, you can you can punish the Winston right now. Ah, uh, you. <laughs> that's unlucky, man. You could have punished punish, punish the Winston whenever he comes in. Even if you don't have a rocket punch, you can use your other two abilities to get him. And that was unlucky. That was a huge shatter though. Alright, now you're, you're in the broken spot. Alright, monkey should be your main focus. I mean, your soldier should be main, main focus now. But the monkey just jumped in, so... Hold up, let me go back real quick. I think you were a little too passive with what happened right here. Since you, me, since you see the, the monkey is jumping your supports right now, so you have a choice right now. You either go for the soldier that's over here, which I personally would not have done because um, because our support right here needs to help. So I would go after the monkey right now by knocking him into the air and come with him. He's most likely have prim primal rage with him, so he's gonna primal rage. And once he primal rage, primal rages, then it's okay for you to go after the soldier after that, since your ultimate is almost there. And when you would have slammed the the monkey, you would have gotten your ultimate as well. So whenever you were, and whenever you're close to your ult, close to your ultimate right here, it'll be easier for you to go after someone else. But it'll be easier for you to um, get your ultimate off of tanks as well. So it depends on the situation that you're in right now. So if your supports are being jumped like it is right now, I go after the Winston. But otherwise, I would have went after um, the Soldier. But since the Winston is jumping your support, it's great that you go after it. But since you did, since you did nothing right here, you just um, kind of just stayed tr trying to s decide what was going, what you were going to do. Even with the tactical advisor. Us? Your Reinhardt is getting these huge shadows, man, for you guys. Alright, that was just round one. Nice, guys. Alright, let's get in there. Alright, go straight to point. Point, point. Nice, nice. Whenever you're on the stage, whenever you're in this part of the stage, you always want to go straight to point. It's always going to be an advantage to you guys. Oh, they all went that way. For some reason. Oh, nice. My friend's been watching some Brandito. We'll be playing out on the edges, nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, Zarius, alright. Alright, you didn't have to use the uppercut, but that's okay. Nice. Could take control of the point. Always on the stage. You always want to go straight to the point to take control of it. You have a huge advantage when you're fighting on the point because there's people you can hit against the wall a lot easier than you can outside. Nice, nice. Punch Ryan, punch Ryan, punch Ryan. I would have punched him the second he came in just to stop. Ooh, destroy it. I would have punched him the second he came in just to get him on the ground since he was by himself. Uh, 
Uh, that happens to me a lot as well, man. It's alright. Nice. I don't think the sorry, the mercy should have been main focus right here. Huge, huge. All right, now retreat. Yes, retreat. I like the retreat right there. The trace. <laughs> How did she get hit punched by that? Nice, man. Chaser, chaser, chaser. <laughs> Nice. The, the, pay, the, the key to this um, round, if your team is not being that aggressive, then all you have to do is stay on the point and be less aggressive. Uh, if that made any sense. That made no sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> if your team is not being aggressive, then there's no point for you to be aggressive, especially when you have your ult. Oh, that's huge ult. See what I'm, look, what I'm saying here? Reinhardt is getting huge ults, man. I'll it out. I'm dead. Okay. One, 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 one more thing as well. Whenever you're, again, whenever you are stunned, like, for instance, you're shattered or anything like that. What you always want to do afterwards is to uppercut. Because if you don't uppercut afterwards, you're most likely you're going to get, like, hit or something like that. Like, you're going to die. I uppercut to save my life and hopefully to save the rest of the team's life. Because if you would have uppercut right there, it would have knocked the Reinhardt into the air. And it would have saved most of your teammates from taking any more damage from him. So I always try to rock, and not rock, but always try to uppercut right after you get stunned. That saved your life. If you can't, that's okay, but um, most of the time, that's what you want to be doing. Here, I take the high ground instead of going below, because if you... And you can get more um, advantage from being on high ground right here than you would be down there. And they're going to be holding point anyways. Yeah, they're going to be holding point. Right. I would go out from the left edge, go up to the left edge. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, too. If you want to fight with your team. I would have punched him immediately instead of just watching. Cause if you if you wait too much, he'll already have done the damage that he needs to do. Wow. Oh. Huge, huge. Mercy's one. Ah, you gotta shoot. I aim a little bit to the left, right, right, man. One thing I think I see you're doing a lot is um. The way and the way you're using your rocket punch, I need to point out real quick. When I see you using your rocket punch, you're always charging it and then waiting and, and then waiting for some unknown reason. Like you don't have to get that max damage off. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to release it so you don't. So the person that's being attacked is not is not dying, or the person that you're trying to attack does not get away. Because there's a lot of times where you would be charging a punch and the other person got away because he waited too long to actually try to punch the guy. So try and don't try to always get the maximum damage from the punch because even if, even though it does a lot of damage, it gives the enemy the time to actually either avoid the punch or to um, do what they need to do before you actually start hitting them. And that should be GG. That is GG. Nice man. Yeah, I think that was the end of it. So one thing I think that I mean, after seeing I mean, after seeing your gameplay, man, I think there's one thing that you most definitely need to work, work on. The first thing I would actually advise for you to work on would be um, your rocket punch first. First off, that I mean, it'll be like it's not I mean, it's not it's a minor fix, but no, I mean, the use of your rocket punch. I see you a lot of time you're using your rocket punch and like I just explained like you're waiting too long to actually hit the guy and there are times where there's like the, for instance a Reinhardt would charge in and you charge the rocket punch fully before actually punching and you will either uh, miss the punch or the person would get away or the Reinhardt will already complete his charge and you can't like take advantage of both of you being on the ground um, anymore so use your rocket punch a lot and a lot better I would say or and try to aim your punch a, a lot better as well so and as to wait i mean not try to aim i'm sorry you're trying to aim too much it's, it's good to aim your rocket punch don't get me wrong but you're aiming a little too much because it's um people are getting away with stuff because you're not releasing your rock punch fast enough so release your rock punch a lot faster and I, I think you'll be good in that perspective and the second perspective is when you're going to go in or who and the main focus that i see you is who are you going to focus 
that's your main problem that I see that I that I'm looking at right now is um, your target focus is not actually there. You're just punching in just, uh, or slamming in on whoever is, is right there. And I don't highly advise that because sometimes it works. If you're in a brawl, most of the time it's not going to work because, uh, considering what the team is going to be running. And, and you'll see that the higher that you go, the team will be more organized. And th um, this, I wouldn't say this team wasn't that organized, but it was um, a, a lot less organized than what I'm used to. But um, you had to be more organized with what you're going after and you had to be more target focused and you weren't focusing the soldier as nearly enough as when I would focus him like if there was a soldier on the enemy team he would be the main focus of me every single time until he switched to like pharmacy or something like that and then it win the game but <laughs> we also we know I'd see right there but what you want to uh, mainly focus on is you want to always always focus and, and have kill the easiest thing that it is that is Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. Kill what is the easiest to kill on the enemy team, and so, and for this entire match, the soldier is was the easiest thing that you could have killed at that point. He he should have been like the main one you're going after because he's that easy to kill with with Doomfist. So get a get a lot better with your target focusing, and that and that'll be um be one step closer to, and then um improving your gameplay, man. Um, I wouldn't say you have anything to, to worry about with aim because what from what I'm seeing is your sensitivity is pretty high, man. I don't I ain't really mind that. I don't know if you can um, actually handle sensitivity when it's that high. So if you want to start training a little bit more with the sensitivity down and then try to get higher than where, and where you're at right now, that'd be great as well. That'd be um, another advice I can give you. And another another thing is um, I'm gonna just say this real quick. When you you don't you don't you don't take any risk from what I'm saying. Like you can't be passive with Doomfist. You have to be sometimes this there's good there's a good aggressive and there's a bad aggressive. The bad aggressive is like you go in and then there's like your team is dead. And you go in, you get a you get a kill or whatever, but your entire team is dead, so everyone have a chance to get back to the point. And there's a good aggressive where you're you're super aggressive, you're organized, you go in, you get a kill, you get out of it. But I am, I am, but at the same time, like your team's able to cover for you being aggressive as well. And I, I don't see you being very aggressive. Like you play with your team, you play more of a control style, which I don't really mind. But you played the control style of the entire game, and I don't believe what they were with what they were um, playing on a second on a second point at least. What the control style wasn't really um, working. I mean, it was working because your team, your Reinhardt was a god. <laughs> it was working because of that, and because your team became more organized. But it it wasn't really necessary for, I say your your gameplay and for um the second point because they were playing mostly outside of the point and they were coming towards you which was really good it, no problem with that and you did stay on the point which I had no problem with that but whenever you had your ult that's your chance to be aggressive that's your chance for you to get a kill and a get out of jail free card that's always whenever you have your ult you want to be aggressive you always want to be aggressive because you can be aggressive and get away with it that's the great thing about doomfist ultimate he has his ultimate is not really that it's not that great to be honest but he he has a get out of jail free card you get in you get yourself a kill and even if you don't get the kill you can still get out with your life because you have your ultimate because you have all you can use all your abilities and use your ultimate to get away but other than that if those if you work on those three things man i'm pretty sure you'd be able to climb out a lot better man i enjoyed your gameplay thank you for sending it to me man um also before and before i close i just want to say one thing thank you thank you all for the the um vod vids i've been getting i got like seven the other day when i was looking at my email and, and i really do appreciate it that you guys want me to check your videos i really do um like making these videos and i'm making i'm leaving my fridays open to be making these videos for you guys it probably be early I and mean, be late at night because that's usually when i post videos i post videos always at late at night and i really do appreciate when i when y'all send it to me um, I don't think I have anything else to say, man. <laughs> Thank you for sending me the gameplay. I really did enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Forever.